My name is Janet Ice, and I am a lifeguard instructor and supervisor at Splashdown Water Park in Houston. I've actually worked there for five seasons now, and um, I, I started as a lifeguard, and I worked all my way all the way up until now I'm an instructor. Splashdown is actually um, licensed by Ellison Associates, which is um, kind of like Red Cross, but it's more strict in the fact that Ellis will send auditors out to our park randomly throughout the season, and we won't know that they're coming, and they will videotape our lifeguards to make sure that they're, um, they're scanning their water like they're supposed to. So it's my job as a supervisor is to make sure those lifeguards are always scanning no matter what. So sometimes we do what we call vats, and we will put a fake doll into the water, and if they, they and if the lifeguard gets it within um, under a certain amount of time, then that's great. I mean, they pass. But if they don't get it in that certain amount of time, then unfortunately they fail. Um, and then we have to go um, talk to them about how to how to improve. Uh, but my first year as a lifeguard, I was uh, scanning my water like I was supposed to, and all of a sudden I see a guest in the water holding a baby doll up um, out of the water. And so I, I freak out because I thought I missed the doll. So I jump, I blow my whistle like I'm supposed to, and I jump in the water and I get to the doll. And um, I remember the um, guest was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's just a doll. Um, but I basically, I pulled the doll out of the water and uh, I talked to my supervisor and he was telling me about my performance. And he told me that if the guest hadn't have picked um, the doll up, it would have been a couple more seconds and I would have failed um, that audit. And so I was heartbroken. I was so sad. Um, I basically, I went home that day and I just cried and cried because I thought I was such a bad lifeguard and I was like, what would have happened if that was a real kid? And so um, I come back uh, within the next couple of days and uh, my whole attitude changed. And like before, I, I thought I was doing what I was supposed to, but obviously I wasn't uh, being thorough enough. So I would scan, scan, scan um, all the time just like I was um, like I was supposed to and um, I never stopped looking at the water and it turned out that um, that ended up paying off for me because we did have Ellis come that summer and audit us and I was one of the people who uh, were videotaped by the Ellis auditor and I ended up receiving um, the title of a golden guard which is on, the auditor only gives to three people throughout the nation and that's just ba basically saying that you're the uh, you're a top par lifeguard and um, you're one of the best that they've seen. So that experience um, really changed me and really helped me to get where I am today because now I'm an instructor and I um, I teach lifeguards how to do what they do and I use that story to um, to tell them and um, remind them what to do in a situation and. Um, if a guard uh, does fail, like if I were to um, audit them and they failed like I almost did, I um, I tell them that story and say, look, you know, all you have to do is set your mind to it and um, you can improve and you can become a golden guard like I did.